Do you plant your whole vegetable garden at once? If you live in a warm climate, that's probably a silly question. But here in Zone 3, many gardeners do exactly that. To learn why that may not be such a good idea, please watch the rest of this video. Hello, this is Stephen from ShortSeasonGarden.com and I give you tips and tricks for gardening in short seasons like here in Zone 3 of Eastern Canada. Please go to my website at www.shortseasongarden.com and while you're there, sign up for my newsletter. You will receive an email asking you to please confirm your short season garden tips subscription. Some email servers tend to send this message to spam or trash, so be sure to check those folders if the verification email doesn't come through. You can also check me out on Pinterest, Instagram, and Facebook at Short Season Garden. And last but not least, if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel. Click the notification bell so you're notified whenever a new video is released. So how do you start a conversation when you meet someone in aisle 7 of the grocery store? Well, if it's a fellow gardener and it's late May or early June, instead of commenting on the weather, you ask, have you got your garden in yet? And often he'll reply, not yet, and you'll say, oh well, it's still early. You see, no vegetable garden ever seems complete without tomatoes, cucumbers, squash, beans, and maybe a few rows of corn. And we all know the heartbreak of losing tomato plants to frost after we thought all danger was past. So rather than take chances on losing plants, we tend to wait until late to put our garden in. And because dawn in Zone 3 in late June is at 5 a.m. and dusk is at 10 p.m. and because we plant short season varieties, we can usually get enough cucumbers for a few batches of pickles and our squash can cure off the vine while we ripen our tomatoes indoors. That part is fine. In Zone 3, unless you use season extenders of some type, that's often the only choice you have for heat loving crops. But that's not the only choice you have for all your crops. Many plants prefer cool weather and will easily survive a frost. I know with a small garden it's so easy to go in with a rototiller and till up the whole garden at once and plant it all the same day. And because we don't live in an extremely hot climate, you can still have a measure of success planting your cool season crops late, but you are missing out on the success you could have. Peas, for example, will produce a much more bountiful crop if planted as soon as the ground can be worked. They are also one of the few crops I know that enjoy being crowded. By planting your peas early, close together, on both sides of your fence, you will enjoy a much better harvest. Lettuce, spinach, and most greens prefer cooler weather. Long day onion varieties that are bred especially for cold climates need the long hours of sunlight that Zone 3 provides from late May through mid July. Broccoli, kale and other brassicas don't mind the frost and thrive in the cool weather of spring or fall. In fact, many claim that kale tastes better after being hit by frost. While carrots and beets will do well in Zone 3 if planted late, why delay that first feed of fresh bee greens or the first hodgepodge of new carrots, peas, potatoes, and maybe even some early string beans? Just a caution on the beans and potatoes, frost will set them back, so look up the average days to germination and count back from your last expected frost to figure out when they should be planted. Do the same thing with your corn. If you're really zealous and plant as soon as the soil can be worked, you can grow two crops of carrots and beets, one for midsummer consumption and one for late fall picking and winter storage. With a little season extension, you can even harvest your carrots into the early winter. Now don't get me wrong, I love fresh tomatoes and cucumbers and enjoy my winter squash. And if that's all you want from your garden, by all means, plant it all at once but you will be missing out on a lot of delicious, fresh produce. So next time you meet your gardening friends in the grocery store, don't ask, got your garden in yet, but ask, are your peas up yet? Summer is short enough in Zone 3. 
Don't plant your garden all at once. Extend your season. You'll be glad you did. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Like and comment on this video. And I'll see you in the next one.